Welcome to this new video in which I'll show you how to use the Automa Recorder, a tool capable of recording all your actions on a web page and automatically transforming them into Automa templates. A perfect tool for getting started or saving time, but also for understanding the correspondence between blocks and your actions, since in Automa, each of your actions corresponds to a block. To launch the recorder, click on the Automa, but not on the recorder icon as this takes you back to the official documentation, which explains that you need to go to the dashboard. So click on the house icon. We go to the dashboard, which takes us back to our templates homepage. Next to new workflow, click on the little arrow. In the drop down menu, click on record workflow. Give it a name. Then the recorder is launched. All our actions are now recorded. For example, I'm going to click this button. I'll retrieve this select element text. I select it. What do I want to do? I want to get the text, get text. I assign it to a variable, which I name text. I'll have a look. I want to get out of this little menu. I press the escape key as shown here. I press escape to cancel. And that's it. And then I can continue browsing. I click here, here, and so on. And when I'm done, I click here, knowing that I can move it if it bothers me. I can move the recorder. I click here. It stops recording and automatically transforms my actions into automatic templates. Here you have each of my actions which have been broken down into blocks. I was on a site called Formation Automat. This is a new tab block to open the URL. Then I clicked on the template button here. This is a click block to click on an element. Next, I clicked on, it made me scroll. I scroll. I wanted to retrieve a text. It's a get text block. Then I scrolled. Then I clicked on the new button. This opened a new URL. From there, I clicked on an item. It was basically the first item. It recorded the clicking action. It also opened a new URL. You see, it surgically sliced up each of my actions. You can also automatically create a loop, loop to retrieve multiple items, like for example, doing a search on the Google SERP on an e-commerce site to retrieve all the products and so on. The recorder can also help you create the basis of your template. I'll show you. New workflow. Here, record workflow. Test. Loop. Here we go. Here I do a search. I click on Google search. I get the results. Here, I don't want to select one element, but several elements. Select list element. I'll try to color all the results. This means that it has identified the loop to be created to retrieve each of the results. I click on it. I give this loop a name. For example, SERP. What am I going to do with this? When I go through my loop, each element of my loop, each SERP result, I want to retrieve the text. I resave it in a variable I call text save. Press escape, which allows me to create the end of my loop in Automa. And from there, if I don't want to go any further, I click on the stop recording button. Stop recording button, and off I go. And there it is. This is what the automatically recorded template looks like. I opened google.fr with a new tab block. I then used the forms block form block since I entered my search in a form box. This is indeed the case. I entered Formation Automa. Then I clicked on the Google search button. He clicked on it too. And from there, I created a loop, loop data, which will read all the SERP results. And for each result, what happens? We retrieve the text I've targeted. And then we come to the end of the loop, which will start at the beginning and read one by one each SERP result. 
that's how Automa can automatically create a loop to save you time. After that, it's up to you to modify it, to adapt it to your needs, to the results you get, quite simply. Here's how to create a template from scratch automatically with Automa's recorder. It's also possible to use the recorder within an existing template, so you don't have to start from scratch. You may well have a template created, and at a given stage in that template, you'd like to use the recorder to continue that template. No problem. You just go to the desired block from which you'd like to continue with the recorder, and on the output block, you'll see here, right click here. Record from here. And then what happens? We come back here and now it goes, it records everything I do. I stop. And we come back to it and look what happened. You see, it. he created another branch after this block that served as a starting point and recorded this sequence. And that's it. And so, Automa's recorder can be used to create a complete workflow from A to Z, but it can also be used to rework an existing template. You're free to use it as you wish. In any case, as you'll have gathered, it's a really great time-saving tool, that's for sure. And then, to understand the logic behind the blocks, the actions, in short, Automa's operating principle. You haven't understood everything, that's normal, I assure you. This was not a training video, but a demonstration. Because the aim of my training is to teach you how to master Automa progressively, so that you can feel at ease with all templates. Did you like this video? Please feel free to like, comment and share it. That's what keeps me going. And if you have any ideas for templates for future videos, let me know in the comments. And of course, if you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe to my channel.